Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you the Masculine Pluriel from Maison Francis Kurchan. I have here an original sample which I purchased directly from uh, the store. This is one of my favorite perfumes from the Maison Francis Kurchan lines. It has a very beautiful barbershop vibe, so that is something that I like a lot about this. And I thought why not make a review for it, present you my opinions and then uh, maybe I will also get a bottle in the future because I believe it's very manly and in any collection Masculine Pluriel from Maison Francis Kurchan would find its place. So please stay tuned. Inside of this sample there is a text which I will read very fast. It says a foray into the world of eternal masculinity, a modern eau de toilette with multiple variations where wood notes echo one another. Cedarwood, patchouli, vetiver and soft leather resonate with a sublime fougere note built on lavender absolute. That's also something that I smell very predominant in this composition. It's lavender, so it's very beautiful lavender fougere barbershop type of smell also available in a scented body range the bottle looks like this like all the maison francis Kurchan bottles this is a perfume that has been released in 2014 unfortunately i was not aware that this brand exists back then so i only learned about this brand and about this release in 2000 20 uh, when uh, the pandemic started so um, for me it's quite of a new scent if you know it since many years please let me know if you have noticed a change in the quality like with many perfumes if now is weaker than it was this is a popular perfume for men the scent is fresh woody and it is marketed by Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy because they have purchased one year or two years ago the MFK house and since last year Francis Kurchan the perfumer the, the co-creator of MFK perfumes is the master perfumer for Dior and I'm really looking forward to uh, smelling his new creation uh, when this will be released uh, uh, by Dior. Fragrant notes you will have uh, California grapefruit, Sicilian citron, Provençal lavender absolute which is the predominant note um, in my opinion, leather, atlas cedar, patchouli and vetiver like it was written there. So. I will now spray it a bit in here and let you know how I think it is and how, uh, how it evolves, right? Yeah, right away you smell this very, very high quality lavender like you're in a lavender field. And the cedar, it has this sweetness from the cedar. The grapefruit is very toned down, so I don't feel such a grapefruit uh, boost like in uh, Bleu de Chanel de Parfum or like in Tiga from Bulgari. Yeah, it's lavender, lavender and a bit more lavender. And this is just the initial spray, the initial blast. Of course, it will evolve a bit in time. But uh, from my experience with this uh, perfume in the past, because I already had another sample which I have used, it's quite um, linear, I can say. So this nice fougere, linear, lavender, type of smell which you smell when you spray it originally will stay with you the whole life of the scent it's done so nice it's something that uh, mfk knows to do very well and th that's why i like this scent very much is blended in such a way that you cannot like individually pick notes and say i smell this more i smell that more it's like a very nice ripe product which gives you this very nice feeling when you spray it so if you are a person who likes uh, Fougère Royale from Who Gant, or you like this manly oak moss based scents uh, which you use either after shaving or you have groomed a bit your beard and then you like to wear a powerful manly smell then you will also like very much the Masculine Pluriel by MFK because it has this forgotten 
masculinity, if I can say this. So the new releases, the new perfumes that are currently on the market are um, mainly going into fruity directions or into sweet directions for men, I mean. But something like this, which is for a proper gentleman, I would consider this a proper gentleman scent, you don't see so many. Floris also release such type of scents like uh, 89, like Elite, a bit more barbershop, a bit more in your face. I am a man, this is how I am, take me as I am and if you don't like it then tough luck. This is kind of like that but brings a bit of sweetness from the cedar. It has the lavender which is absolutely phenomenal. MFK managed to create this very realistic lavender smell in its scents. Another scent where the lavender smell is for me very realistic and very natural is in the Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal Le Parfum, that one in a black bottle created by Quentin Bish. That one also has a very nice and natural lavender. It will not break your bank. This is a scent which you can purchase with 120, 130 euro for the 70 milliliter bottle. Is it 70 or 75? Just get one and enjoy it. I hope this uh, short introduction into the Masculine Pluriel by MFK uh, was helpful for you. If you are a man who likes, like I said, this manly type of scents like Floris 89, like Fougère Royale from Hubigant, like uh, Roja Oligarch, this one will also be in, in the same, let's say, category. But if you don't like this manly, harsh, barbershop, fougere with very beautiful smelling lavender, then Maison Francis Curcian will definitely not be for you. And also, if you are a younger man, let's say 20, 25, 28 maybe in this range, maybe something sweeter, maybe something like Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal, de Le Parfum, would be better because it is sweeter, it is more youthful than this one. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review and I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy. Bye bye.